These gunships are still frequently used in battles inside and outside of Commonwealth space, despite the dangers they pose. The arrival of a squad of these gunships has slowed or halted numerous adversary counterattacks, and in some cases, destroyed them. The initiation of flight operations for the plane is scheduled for 2024. F divided by a minus 18E divided by F combat strike fighters will be more available for strike fighter missions thanks to the UAV because of the decreased reliance on them for tanking duties. A maximum of 6,800 kilograms, 15,000 pounds, of propellant can be transported by the MQ-25A over a range of 926 kilometers, 500 nanometers. It has the capability of refueling the F-A-18 Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, and F-35C fighter jets, greatly increasing their range and flight duration. Communication via satellite and wireless will be used to carry out the refueling procedures. The Navy plans to incorporate the unmanned tanker into its existing catapult launch and retrieval infrastructure. In October 2017, the U.S. Navy issued a final call for proposals for its carrier-based unmanned aerial refueling aircraft program. Besides Boeing, Lockheed Martin and General Atomics also submitted designs for autonomous tankers to the program, the Sea Avenger and the Sea Ghost. In November 2020, aviators from the U.S. Navy's VX-1 and VX-23 squadrons took part in MQ-25 simulation training, where they learned the ins and outs of flight operations from a ground control center. GCS. In December 2020, Boeing and the U.S. Navy operated the MQ-25 test aircraft T-1, equipped with an ARS aircraft aerial refueling system. During the two-and-a-half-hour journey, pilots at Mid-America St. Louis Airport acted as ground controllers. The MQ-25 test asset T-1 successfully showed the UAV's ability to stay in the air at varying speeds and altitudes for around 30 hours during early flight testing. Core Power Electronic Circuit Breaker Unit ECBU, technology, which will be installed in the MQ-25 Stingray, gives operators smart control and visibility of the electrical parts of the aircraft. A Rolls-Royce AE 3007 N engine producing over 10,000 pounds of thrust and supplemental electrical power will propel the unmanned airplane. A new high-bypass turbofan engine, the AE-3007N, has been added to the AE-3007 series, 